Hello friends, today I'm going to work on 2nd grade Megra Hill My Math Volume 1 Homework Book. Today's focus is on Chapter 1, Lesson 1, Addition Properties. I am Sue. I am Pat. I go bananas for addition. Teacher directions. Draw a picture and write a number sentence to solve. Sue and Pat are zookeepers. Sue fed five monkeys and three elephants. How many animals did she feed? Pat fed three tigers and five giraffes. How many animals did he feed? You can draw whatever picture you want in these blanks, but I'll go on and write the number sentence. So this is Sue, and she fed five monkeys and three elephants. So that is five plus three. Five plus three is eight. So the answer is eight. Now, this is Pat. So, Pat fed three tigers and five giraffes. That is three plus five. So, three plus five. So, the answer is eight. See and show. You add to find a sum. Each number you add is called an addend. The answer is the sum. In the equation, 3 plus 5 equals to 8. 3 and 5 are addends, and 8 is the sum. In the equation, 5 plus 3 equals to 8. 5 and 3 are addends, and 8 is the sum. Helpful hint. You can add numbers in any order. The sum is the same. This is the commutative property. The commutative property says it doesn't matter what order you add the numbers, the sum will still be the same. It doesn't matter if you add 3 to 5 or 5 to 3, the answer will always be 8. Any number plus 0 equals that number. This is the identity property. 5 plus 0 equals to 5. 5 and 0 are add-ins and 5 is the sum. 0 plus 5 equals to 5. 0 and 5 are add-ins, and 5 is the sum. 0 equals to nothing. So 5 plus nothing equals to 5. Or 5 plus 0 equals to 5. And that's the identity property. So 100 plus 0 is 100, a million plus 0 is a million, and then x plus 0 is x. Simple. Now, find each sum. 4 plus 3 equals to 7. That means 3 plus 4 equals to 7. Because of the commutative property, it does not matter in which order you add the numbers. They always have the same sum. 6 plus 0 is 6 plus nothing. So 6 plus 0 is 6. So 0 plus 6 is 6. That is the commutative property. Question number three is two plus four, and two plus four is six. We have four plus two over here. That is the commutative property. Four plus two is the same as two plus four, so four plus two is six. Question number four, two plus five. 2 plus 5 is 7. So 5 plus 2 is 7. 
That is the commutative property. Talk math. Why is the sum the same when you find 3 plus 2 or 2 plus 3? So the commutative property is the answer to this question. The commutative property says it doesn't matter what order you add the numbers, the sum will still be the same. On my own, find each sum. 5 plus 1 equal to 6. So 1 plus 5 equal to 6. Question number 6. 4 plus 5 equal to 9. So 5 plus 4 equal to 9. That's the commutative property. 0 plus 3 equals to 3. 3 plus 0 equals to 3. That's the identity property. Question number 8. 6 plus 3. 6 plus 3 equals to 9. So 3 plus 6 equals to 9. That's the commutative property. Question number 9. 7 plus 1. 7 plus 1 equals to 8. So 1 plus 7 equals to 8. That's the commutative property. Question number 10. 6 plus 2. 6 plus 2 equals to 8. And then 2 plus 6 equals to 8. That's the commutative property. Sometimes the questions will be flipped like this, but it's still the same question. Like 6 plus 2, it just goes the opposite way. 8 plus 0 equals to 8. So, 0 plus 8 equals to 8. That's the identity property. 4 plus 2 equals to 6. So, 2 plus 4 equals to 6. Question number 13. 3 plus 4 equals to 7. So, 4 plus 3 equals to 7. That's the commutative property. 0 plus 9 equals to 9. So 9 plus 0 equals to 9. That's the identity property again. Problem solving. What two addition facts could you use to find the total number of dots on this domino? There are three dots on this side of the domino and seven dots on this side of the domino. That means three plus seven. So three plus seven equals to 10. And so seven plus three equals to 10. That's the commutative property. Question number 16. Manuel's team scores six runs in the first game. They score three runs in the second game. Show two ways you can find the total number of runs. So we can do six plus three equals to nine. Or we could do three plus 6 equals to 9. Write math. Write what you know about the order of the add-ins in an addition problem. I'm not going to write it. I'm going to say it so you can write it in your own pace. The commutative property says it doesn't matter what order you add the numbers. The sum will still be the same. My homework. Practice. Find each sum. 2 plus 4 equals to 6. So 4 plus 2 equals to 6. That's the commutative property. Question number 2. 4 plus 1 equals to 5. So 1 plus 4 equals to 5. 
That's the commutative property. 9 plus 0 equals to 9. 0 plus 9 equals to 9. That's the identity property. 3 plus 4 equals to 7. So 4 plus 3 equals to 7. That's the commutative property. 1 plus 7 equals to 8. So 7 plus 1 equals to 8. That's the commutative property. Question number 6. 0 plus 3 equals to 3. So 3 plus 0 equals to 3. That's the identity property. Find each sum. 2 plus 3 equals to 5. So 3 plus 2 equals to 5. That's the commutative property. 5 plus 3 equals to 8. So 3 plus 5 equals to 8. That's the commutative property again. Question number 9. The zoo has four striped snakes. It has two yellow snakes. Write two ways you can find how many snakes the zoo has in all. We can do 4 plus 2 equals to 6 or 2 plus 4 equals to 6. I'm going to do 4 plus 2 equals to 6. Then 2 plus 4 equals to 6. Question number 10. Kathy counts four baby goats and five baby sheep in the petting zoo. Write two ways you can find how many babies there are in all. So 4 plus 5 equals to 9. 4 plus 5 equals to 9. And 5 plus 4 equals to 9. That's the commutative property. Vocabulary check. Circle the number sentence that shows the vocabulary word. Addends. Are these addends? This an addend? Or these two addends? This is an addend. These two numbers right here. Three and one. I hope you understood the commutative property and the identity property of addition. Thank you for watching our videos. Bye.